What's good, everybody? It is your boy, Dr. Play K Culture 24-7. We are here giving you guys another formation here in the 3-4 playbook or in any playbook that has 3-4 bear and other 3-4 formations inside of it. And we are here going to give you guys the 3-4 bear that basically is contained defense, loop defense, contain defense all in one, and then you got to make the adjustments in the back as your opponent gives to you. Now, disclaimer, this is only tips. I said this in every video, and I'm going to say it in this one as well. Every tip that I give you for Madden defensively can go into your scheme that you already have or can help you make a scheme into a formation that you want to go and try and build out. And if I do not put it here on YouTube, I could not find any blitzes for it. Um, you guys can do normal defense out of it, but I try to help you find blitzes in there to kind of help you like build a scheme around, oh, if he thinks I'm going to do this formation or he thinks I'm going to do this type of concept, where can I put the blitz in here to kind of make it like, you know, disguise it into what I actually want to do. So we're going to do it out of Trio Sky Zone, right? You can kind of do it in Linebacker Blitz if you want to do it in a man version. So I'll go ahead and show you guys the man version first. Um, here in a man version, all you're going to have to do is just put a circle out on um, a route, basically. Put her hooker on a hooker on that wide receiver. And basically, you just stand right here with your user and hold on to left trigger. Uh, actually, what you have to do first, after, after before you do all that, let's actually reset that. I want you to go ahead and pinch your defensive line. Just keep on spamming the defensive line being pinched, which is left on the D-pad, right on the down, I mean, down on the right stick. And then all you have to do is double tap the D-pad to the left circle and either put them in a hard flat or put them in a uh, curl flat. That was a curl flat. Now you can put them in a hard flat. Uh, whatever one that you choose, put your safety up here onto R1. Or, no, nah, actually, that's fine. But make sure you go ahead and put Bell back into a blitzing form. And then all you're going to have to do is watch the running back and hold on to the left trigger, really. And then, as you can see, a whole contained defense is being shown right here. And it's just man defense across the board. And the only other person that's really being manned up is, I want to say, no, nobody's really just manned up. You just got to use it in the middle of the field. And you got to use her, um the other side. But it's really just like preference once again. Um, we're going to do this once again. Put them out into a seam flat, really. And then you can see if you really want to, you can go ahead and put... um him on a deep zone instead of manning him up and basically that's going to be on the whole left side but it's really just whatever the defense gives you and right here just hold it just like this you see how he comes down and now you just got that pressure coming into the uh a gap really nice now sometimes it's going to be him on that right side and sometimes it's going to be the D tackle on that uh left side but depending on if he just runs out the pocket you can just go ahead and do that now, to kind of help you out a little bit as we go ahead and set this up again. Boom. What you could do possibly is go ahead to QB contain and reblitz X. And now you got this type of a look. So anything that comes over to that outside, it could do that. But as you can see, he still gets through in the D line and kind of will help you out. Um, Boom, as we go ahead and set this up again. And this is just the man version. This is the man version of this blitz. And if you want to, if you see that he isn't really being that much of a help, you can go ahead and put him out in the zone just like this. Go ahead and use her just like this. And then you guys can see you have a four man. Just I mean, just like four people coming in. And you just have that zone out there. And you really don't need that loop on the outside. Just really just press all of them in there. QB contain. Put a circle into a seam flat and then you can go ahead and put square into uh what you call it wait a minute let's go ahead and do that again go ahead and put circle into a seam flat and then put square into a curl flat right there blitz your user put your safety on to number 13 
and now you can go ahead and QB contain and then reblitz X to be in that uh, disengage defense as well. Hold on to the left trigger, hold on down like this, and you see how the pressure is getting right there at the quarterback. Everybody else is manned up. You got the zones right there to go ahead and pick off anything that comes in underneath, and it's really just defense right there to kind of help you out. Now, if it gets to the point where they're going to shift that line to the left or anything like that, you are sending four, and you guys can see that it's coming in sending four. Um, if they start doing extra blitz, uh, blitzes and anything of that nature, you can go ahead and send that extra person, um, which is circle, put square into a curl flat, and then if you really want to put a, what you call it, put that linebacker into a middle read, and then go ahead and blitz triangle once again to get into the disengaged defense, and then anything that comes in on that right side. And if they go and scramble over to that right side, it's going to be a contain right there to kind of help out. Boom, do it just like this. And if they roll out, you guys can see that there's a, what you call it, there's a um zone over there to that side. And if he starts rolling out to that side, you can actually send him to actually um get him towards the quarterback. So here, once again, do this. And you can even sit it up to set it up to have that be the defense right here where you can send all five and just put a contain on one side. Or do it towards the other side. It really doesn't matter. Because as soon as they do this. It's going to be like disengage. And a loop over there on that other side. And we can go ahead and set it up once again. To where the QB contain is like that. But then we're actually keeping it on the right side. And then putting the blitz just like this. Um, See so yeah, it comes in like that. And the man is completely up to you. If you know how to do my, uh, man KOs, like the medium route and short uh, short route, large uh, deep routes, you can go ahead and do that. But now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys in zone because I am a zone player. But I just showed you guys how to do it in a man standpoint and zone standpoint as well. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I learned it in a, um, what you call it, show you in a um, zone standpoint. So it's actually, no, I did do that right. Yeah, 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 I did do that right. You really come out in this, go ahead and blitz your D line in once again. And then what we did learn from that man is that you really don't need to send this linebacker out here. So really, I mean, you can go ahead and put him in a uh, curl flat. You can put him in a ver hook to keep him over there on that side. Just QB contain and go ahead and blitz him again if you really like to. Or just do this like that and then go ahead and blitz him on. No, 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 no. Not that. Go ahead and blitz triangle like this. And then now you have this type of defense right here. It's still got the contains right there. So really, you can only send three and you can see that they come back like that. He has the uh, safety right there that can easily jump that. That's why you need the lurker and things of that nature right there. If it's a linebacker, if it's a safety right there, you pretty much don't even have to worry about it. But just go ahead and blitz everybody down here. And then you can go ahead on the D line. If you put line, uh, outside linebackers right here, you can go ahead and put them out into zones. QB contain it and re blitz triangle or X, depending on which side that you want to put it on. Go ahead and do it just like this. Make sure you go ahead and huddle just like that. You see how the pressure is getting in. And then Demarcus Lawrence gets a crazy D line pick. I'm telling y'all, man, it's like this defense right here, you're only really just sending in three. And it's just coming in just like that. It's very, very crazy. Um, and you're covering everything that you really need to. You can do this in a match. You can do this in uh, what you call it. You can also do it with the, uh, the zones with him. You can kind of do this in like a... 1520 to kind of cover that side down there if you really wanted to but this is just really the defense right here you can kind of just come in just like this see if anything else happens he really wants to throw that then javon kirsch is going to be right there to pick that off and it's just really it's a really nice defense ben but don't break defense you can go ahead and send everybody if you really want to or just keep the defense just like this and this is like real nice base defense to see if he can go and do something like that. He's not going to catch that every single time, but majority of the time if they do throw, it, throw that out quickly, you do know your safety is right there to get that. And then we're going to go to show you guys here with a blocked running back stance uh, standpoint. And it's basically going to be the same thing. Bench pivot here. So if it comes with a blocked running back, it's probably a little bit harder to go ahead and bring them in there. 
So we're going to go ahead and try and do it one last time. And I'm going to blitz the, what you call it, blitz him again. If he comes down like this, just wiggle him one time so he goes back to his original spot. QB contain. He goes and comes on in. You got to occupy the uh, running back here at this point. So if we're going to try and occupy the running back at this point, we actually go over to this side, do it just like this, block everybody, and then do the running back. So make sure this, boom, wiggle him. And then as soon as the ball is hiked, hold on to him, hold on left trigger and take the control of him right here. So that means he can loop around. But the thing I don't like about that is, is how far he loops around and see if we're going to get that to go. Boom. Come on down. I hold this right here. And as you guys can see, it actually does sit here and loop, but it takes so long for him to loop. Now, one thing I did see that probably does work is basically spreading the D line here. And then putting him in his little uh hooks. So if it does happen to see that um, you are blocking him like this, you guys can see how it's a little bit more spread out, a little bit more like pressure that possibly could have came in. You could do it that way. But like I said, if you are doing this and you like, you know, trying to get some pressure in here, boom, just like that, a little bit of disengage will come in if you send in that extra linebacker. But most likely it's more blitzes for not blocking a running back and making it happen just like that. So if you guys like this, make sure you guys go ahead and leave a like, comment down below some other stuff you guys like to see, subscribe if you guys are new, bring you guys a 3-4 bear. If you guys like it, man, incorporate it into your scheme, make, make something happen from it, bring that blitz in there when you need to, and, you know, dominate the competition. But other than that, it's been your boy, I don't know, fly. Peace out.